Money abroad, what meant to me was like something to come out, out of my comfort zone and explore basically a new place. So it is my first time staying abroad. Um, I have traveled, but this is the first experience I had being able to have a tour guide. Somebody tells me about the history, tell me about the environment, tell me where I'm going, eating at specific places that have meanings. Usually uh, study abroad is that you study and you just go like maybe for a weekend go out but this is really more hands-on you get to interact with the locals. Cultural experience, knowledge, um, the, you know, Patricio and Jenny are great hosts. Patricio is an exceptional guy, he knows about the flora, the fauna, the ecology, the geology, the history, the culture, the architecture. Um, so it's been a very encompassing experience. I did not expect any of this, so I was just amazed with the beauty and um, everything is just different. From the people that I've met from Ecuador to the animals that I've seen that I've never seen before in my life, uh, even to the food is different from my own culture and the US. I mean, I've always had an appreciation for animals and plants and just nature in general, the environment. Um, I think the Galapagos is sort of like the Mecca for these kinds of things because of Charles Darwin, because, you know, this kind of helped catalyze um, his, his theory of nat natural selection and theory of evolution. I had the chance to contribute to the community in the Galapagos, um, and it allowed me to reflect about what are we doing back home in Miami and to keep the environment clean because we have a lot of trash and it's everywhere. And for here, for us to be able to come here and help out the community, clean up, pick up plastic, um, bottles, it kind of made me feel good that I'm able to contribute back. I'm in reflect and okay, how do I make that change back home? So we usually think about what we need, what the human need. Oh, I need more space, I need more land, I need more food. When we're taking, we have to actually think about, I'm taking, but what, what else is gonna happen to whatever was already on this land. Like we're gonna pick up the plastic on the beach and then we're gonna figure out what part of the world that's coming from, whether it be Asia, California, South America. I mean, just to kind of tie everything together. The islands are very isolated, but that doesn't mean that they're not affected by human impact and human climate change, uh, human driven climate change, especially in far away places like California where you think we don't affect the Galapagos, but you know, we might. So. I think just that interconnectedness and then the, the real tangibleness of how, inter you know, because you, you, know, you always think, oh, there's a big, you know, pile of trash in the Pacific, but you don't really think how you might contribute to that. So seeing that firsthand is really tangible and just something I'm going to take away. And it's affecting us. So I think I'm, so what I'm taking back is being more careful, paying more attention to what I'm doing. I've learned a lot here about how Everything is connected some way or another, like it fits just like some insects and then like there's a, another bird that feeds on them and then at the end it would be like a large animal, like that's something that we need to consider and then that's important to us and we need to preserve our nature and then instead of like dividing it, saying like oh yeah nature is there, it's basically like who we are in our nature. My favorite part is when uh, the students leave the program because they leave in a totally different way from when they arrived. They live more inspired, changed, with a whole new bags of uh, experiences and perspective about society, uh, different people, humanities, nature, everything. I love it. We're participating as if it was ours. And it makes me feel like this, this study abroad makes me feel like the world is mine. And contribu contributing is just like I'm helping home. I'm not only helping Ecuadorians, I'm helping the world.